Today I'm going to share with you one of the most powerful concepts in growing your business. If you're a coach and you're looking to grow your coaching business, today I'm going to share with you a concept that has been used by companies like Uber, Netflix, Airbnb, Amazon, all these companies have used it to build the momentum that they now have. And it may not be necessary that you want to grow your business into a Netflix, but it's a concept that you can borrow to use and grow your business to operate without you, right? So if we haven't met already, my name is Jackie Mwangi and I'm a digital marketing coach. And today the concept I'm going to share with you is from Jim Collins' book, Good to Great. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. I read this book a number of years ago and it really goes into depth on companies that have lasted over 25 years and have been the market leader in their niche. Really brilliant concepts in this book and what he discovered that has made those companies successful is one of the concepts that I'm going to share with you today. So in this book, he talks about a concept called the flywheel. And the flywheel is a really powerful thing because once you have your flywheel moving and you have it gaining momentum, it operates on its own and it's a self-fueling will. So what the flywheel is, is it's something that starts, it gets fed in different areas and then the thing just turns on its own. It's like, like a windmill and it just turns and turns and turns and as long as there's wind coming in from the top, it just continues turning and turning without anyone's intervention. So this concept I want to use to bring it home for coaches. Like if you, it's a concept that can be used in any business, but if you're a coach, that's the example that I want to use today. And I drew you a diagram. I hope you can see it. It's called the coaching flywheel. So this is what the coaching flywheel looks like. And if you look at the coaching flywheel, it starts here with traffic. It goes, so the traffic, is your source of traffic, organic or paid. Could be your source of traffic from ads that you're running, could be your source of traffic from posts that you do on Facebook, on YouTube, um, on LinkedIn, your source of traffic. That gets you leads. These leads turn into clients. These clients give you testimonials and referrals and that drives more traffic and this just continues to run on its own. As long as you have this running, it will continue to gain momentum. Because if you're getting testimonials from your clients, that means you're doing a really good job. So you have word of mouth working for you. Now, word of mouth is not usually enough on its own for many businesses. I know some coaches operate on word of mouth alone, and that's fine. But if you're looking to grow a business, like a big business that consistently gets clients and consistently has uh, revenue coming in month on month and has more people coming in to give testimonials, then you want to have other sources of traffic. Because what testimonials does is it helps you and referrals and repeat business. It helps to counter churn. But if you're not getting enough traffic from other sources that are bringing in leads and other clients, at some point these testimonials dry out. And that's the trap I see with some business owners, coaches, and other business owners, where you get very comfortable on referrals. You get very comfortable on repeat business. But clients won't always buy from you. Even if you do a really good job, sometimes their needs are changing. Sometimes they, they may not come back for one reason or another. They change countries, they relocate somewhere else, they no longer have that need, they finished the service that, they were, that you were providing for them. So it's not guaranteed that they'll always keep coming back. And even if they do, at some point they may want to change. So they may introduce competition and get you to bid or get you to compete with somebody else or share the business that they are giving to you with somebody else. So there are many reasons that you cannot just rely on referrals, repeat business to grow your, your business. If you wanted to grow, you need other sources of traffic to be able to get you your flywheel spinning. And the most reliable sources of traffic, the one that you can really control, and if you're like me and you want to control, you want control in your business, paid traffic usually gives you that control. Because organic traffic is sporadic. 
today you do a post it's very popular does it get you clients not all the time tomorrow you do a post that's not so popular but it gets you clients the next day you do a post it's not very popular over time you notice your organic reach has been declining because these social media platforms are set up to get you to pay to reach more people so if you want to target a specific audience you want to target a specific group of people then paid ads is the best way to do it and then with that targeting once you're targeting the right person of course you will have to have the right message for them the right offer for them so that it's attractive and it gets them to take action so paid traffic tends to be one of the most reliable ways to reach more people now of course there are other ways in which you can get clients you don't always have to look at paid traffic you can do partnerships joint ventures with other people people who have your ideal clients on their database they're already serving them and you're not competing with them that's also another form of getting traffic but it has to be consistent which means that if this person drops you from the joint venture your business doesn't go down so you have to consistently think of ways and and means to get consistent traffic reliable traffic and to keep you don't just have one source of traffic there's somewhere a quote i read where it says one is the most dangerous number one client one source of traffic one um one 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 everything <laughs> one employee one is the most dangerous number because it leaves you very vulnerable so you want to have multiple sources of traffic organic and paid leads coming in you're getting leads leads are potential clients so people who you can then have a conversation with about your coaching to join your coaching program or to hire you for for coaching services then they become clients uh and of course they then give you referrals so this flywheel once you get it working you barely have to do anything else all you have to do is just deliver the best service for your clients that's all the work that you're left doing because this is, this thing just spins on its own now you're left with trying to figure out ways to improve the experience for your clients get them results faster and get even more testimonials from that and get better results which continues to fuel your flywheel and remember the flywheel if you see i put some positive here positive here positives right there's also the negative part of the flywheel now you don't have good sources of traffic or regular sources of traffic then you don't get that many leads then you don't get that many clients because the number of leads you get the number of proposals you're sending the number of conversations you're having for people to to hire you for for your coaching services that that number the number of clients you get is a ratio of that so if you're not having those conversations often if you're not talking to potential clients on a daily that means you're not going to get clients consistently because it's a funnel it's more people become aware that your business exists there are many there are less who become prospects or leads there are less who become clients so if the top of your funnel if people are not aware that your business exists then there'll be less people who become leads or prospects and then there'll be less people who become clients because it's not like one person becomes aware one person becomes a prospect and that person becomes a client it doesn't work that way it's usually a lot of people know that you exist less people are interested to have that conversation and consider you less people then out of that become a client so it's a ratio so if you're not getting traffic then you're not getting the leads that you need in order for you to get clients consistently which is what i'm always talking about like if you're running your coaching business or any business for that matter you're running your coaching business and you're not having conversations literally on a daily basis with potential clients or at least 5 days a week with potential clients then out of if you're not having those five conversations how many clients are you going to end up having so it's necessary that you get traffic you post on social media you create your youtube channel i think youtube is great for that and which is one of the reasons i also do it plus i also love youtube and i love being able to share information that will last 
beyond tomorrow. The beauty about YouTube is my videos that I've made, even when I don't make videos, any videos that I've made in the past continue to generate traffic, continue to generate followers. So it's a great platform for me to find out from people, is this resonating with you? To communicate with my prospective clients, to also you know, share with you some of my experiences, what I think are best practice for you to grow your business. And if you, you and I you know, may work together in the future, if you want to do that, then I also invite you to do that. But it's a way in which I get traffic. So if you're not having that conversation, if you're not doing something every day that's going to generate traffic for your leads into clients, then you're really failing your business. And now you have the reverse flywheel that will work backwards. You're not getting the traffic, you're not getting the leads, your clients start to dry up, and of course your testimonials dry up because you don't have enough clients, and now you're not getting as many referrals. So it works in reverse. And that's called the, he called it the loop, the downward, was the downward loop. Yes, the doom, the, yeah, the doom loop. That's what he calls it. He talks about when, when your flywheel is working backwards. That's the doom loop. So I hope that helps you. I hope this has shed some light for you on how you can grow your business, how you can become a coach who runs a coaching practice that runs with or without them because you want to be able to focus a lot more on getting your clients better results. So I hope this made sense for you and that it helped you. Put some comments in the chat sections so that you can let me know whether this resonates with you. If you have any questions around this or any other topic and you'd like me to make a video on it, just put that in the comment section. I love to read comments and engage with you and find out more about what it is that you'd like to learn about. And also let me know what coaching practice you do like what type of a coach you are let me know in the chat section as well so i look forward to engaging with you more and seeing you in the next video so hit that subscribe button so that you also get notified when i do the next video so you want to turn on that bell that little bell thing so that you're notified when i release the next video see you on the next video <laughs>